Are you in need of an awesome looking forge to go on your base? Well, boy howdy, do I have a simple one for you. I mean, look at this thing, it's freaking awesome. Come up to the top, you got glowing magma up top, and come down and you've got the flames underneath. So, I'm gonna show you guys how to build this real quick. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab our stone, and we're gonna build columns that are three tall. And then we're gonna go skip one, two, three, and then we're going to place our next one that is also three tall. We'll go ahead and place a block diagonal and another one that is three tall. Skip one, two, three. Build another one. Diagonal. You get the idea. This is the start of our forge area. So then we're going to go ahead and connect. We're going to go ahead and place in uh, these uh, we're going to go ahead and place in the cobbled deep slate. So to do that, we go ahead on top of the stone pillars, two towards the center. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place in some additional stone inside of the cobbled deep slate. So we're going to go ahead and place it three tall. Okay, so now that we've got that, we can go ahead and place in our stairs. So we're just going to go ahead and fill this in I'm using the andesite stairs, so we're just gonna go ahead and build a staircase that is three wide going up on each of the sides. Once you've got your stairs filled in, go ahead and fill in the sides of the stairs just, just with uh, more andesite to create a solid staircase. Once that is done, we're gonna go ahead and create a ring with polished andesite this time. Where we're gonna go, we're gonna extend one block past our stone pillars and then we're gonna go ahead and connect inward. So we'll go one block past, and we're just gonna create a ring in line with the stone pillars. We're gonna go ahead and place in our andesite stairs, and then behind that, we're gonna go ahead and place in some more stone. So we're gonna go up four more blocks, so one, two, three, four. And then on top of that stone, we're going to go ahead and create a similar shape with our polished andesite again, where we're just going to make a little square with the corners cut out. And then we're going to come down and we're going to inset a polished andesite in the corners. So it'll look something like that. And then the row above that, we're just going to expand over and create a full square. To complete the top part, what we're going to do is we're going to come into a corner. We're going to place a little L like that place a temporary block to make a square, go up one, remove the temporary block, and then create another L. So we're going to make a little L, complete with the little square, and then remove the temporary block. So then, to start doing the inside, we're going to come down, we'll place your choice of block, it's just a filler block here. Preferably choose one that does not start on fire, because on top of this block, we're going to go ahead and place in our lava. So then we'll grab andesite walls. And what we're going to do is we're just going to fill in this gap area. And fill in with four walls. Below the walls, we're going to place one stone block. And then on top of the walls, we're just going to place in a red banner. On top of our previous stairs, we're going to place upside down stairs create a nice little C shape. And then in the corner, we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna put a little L of deep slate tile, and we're just gonna bring that all the way up to the top. The last bit that we have to do is the fun part where we're gonna set it on fire. We're gonna start here on the top part, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our nether rack, since that produces an orange flame. We're gonna go ahead and place three. We're going to go ahead and place two on top of that. They all end up with three down in line with the deep slate, and then two blocks that are higher. And then go ahead and fill in this area with another filler block, and then set it on fire. Our next step, we're going to come in where our stone is. We're going to place more tiled deep slate to close it off just go ahead and put in one more andesite there. And then we're going to do essentially the same thing down below, but we're going to go ahead and use soul soil. And then 
down here behind the flames. Go ahead and place in some more tiles just to seal everything off. The very last thing that we're going to do up on top, we're going to go ahead and add in some more andesite walls. And then just like that, you've got yourself a dwarvish furnace. If you like this video, go ahead and drop a thumbs up. If you need more dwarvish inspired things, I do have a statue that I'll link right here. If you want to go check that out, go ahead and check it out. Otherwise, I will catch you guys in the next one.